Jacob Palmer, San Francisco examiner. Did it feel like home out there? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It, it felt a, it felt a little weird, <laughs> you know, for these these fans to be cheering me on like that. Obviously, being somewhere for so long and then making a the change, but it felt great. You know, I just I appreciate all the basketball fans that come and you know uh, enjoy you know us playing and you know. But it was it was it was cool, man. It was different. Obviously, it's gonna be different, but you know the vibes were great. Everybody showed me major love, showed the team major love. So it was fun. And what did it mean? You got. You had Steph on the sideline, Dre on the sideline. They were both saying hi to you. And then before the game, Draymond made a made a nod to you. Especially, does it feel like they're making an extra effort to really welcome you here in the Bay? Yeah, most definitely. Um, you know, they they know the decision I made, and you know how stressful that time was. You know, just trying to make me feel comfortable, and I appreciate them for that. You know, that's just testament to who they are as people. So, uh, you know, being great teammates already, man. So I'm looking forward to to a great season. Kevin, has the time you've spent with um, Clay and Draymond kind of given you an idea of just what to expect and how easy it might be or how it's going to be when you do get to training camp? Yeah, I think I figured Clay out. Um, kind of figured out his movements and how, and how he is. And Draymond, uh, it's a different guy. And uh, I've been around guys like that before. And uh, we've been tight. You know, guys like that, we've been tight. So I'm looking forward to just, you know, it's different when you're in the season and you're in the long grind for – 82 games, you know, just seeing a guy every single day. So um, I'm looking forward to that part as well. So they, they, they're two great teammates, man. It, it's this, but here, Team USA doesn't seem like, you know, us three are just, you know, isolating ourselves from the rest of the team. And, you know, and uh, we're, not, we're not making anybody else feel uncomfortable with our relationship, I guess. So um, that's the best part about it as well, just being with, you know, 11 more guys that are just – Super cool and relaxed, and it's just been so fun. You know, I, I've I've gotten lost in being a part of USA. Kevin, with Coach K, we discussed humor, um, and that he's a funny guy. Yeah. Um, how are some ways he might have poked some fun at you to help relax you and the team? He's always making jokes, and it's kind of funny because he'll make you know you make a joke, and he'll keep it going for a couple minutes, and it's like, uh, all right, Coach, we got it, we got to. We got to get back to the to the task at hand, and you know. But uh, he he's always looking at big picture things, and he he's, he came in today and was just like, "Look, man, you know, you guys should come from these small towns, and look where you are right now." And you know, he 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 puts things in perspective like that. It really relaxes everybody. So you could tell he's been around it for a while, and uh, he knows what's most important in life. Uh, and he makes he makes all his players feel comfortable. So we'll do two more questions. Here. Ethan Strauss, ESPN. Um, Clay said when he saw you hit that first three, he thought to himself, this is going to be a problem for the league. Do you anticipate it clicking like that with the Warriors, or do you think it's going to be a more difficult process like, say, that he had in 2010? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I know I'm a basketball player, and I know I like to serve my teammates, and I know I like to play a good brown of basketball. And so whatever that translates into, we'll see what happens. And uh, – I feel like they're the same. They're the same way. I'm sure I probably won't shoot that many deep threes. That's just not how I play. Um, but you know, I play a different game. Um, but I don't, I don't envision anything bad happening or any rifts between teammates. Or you know, obviously it's going to be a transition period because it's new. But for the most part, you know, I'm going you know, to try my best um, to fit in, uh, but also still play my game. And I think everybody else around me is going to try to elevate me as well. Uh, so it should be fun, man. It, it'll be fun figuring things out. I, I'll put it that way. Katie, uh, obviously, this Warrior team have a lot of uh, different personality. And how your personality is going to fit into this team? Like a uh, dream on is fire, you know, Clay Thompson is kind of like a very quiet guy. And then how your personality is going to fit in this whole team? I'm just going to be myself. You know, um, that's all I can be. Um, you know, and I, f I feel like these guys, uh, they'll accept me for who I am. They'll uh, understand who I am, you know, I'm try not to change, you know, how I, f how I approach the game or how I approach practices and, you know, leadership. You know, I just stick to what I always know and, and how I do things. I mean, you know, it feels like, you know, like you said, they got different personalities and Draymond stay who he is, Clay stays who he is, Steph. You know, uh, Dre and Sean, you know, they're different personalities, but it works well because they understand each other. So 
you know, just add another guy in there.